friends, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay, uh, and I have a haul for you today. I'm in the midst of getting ready to bring my middle child to college, and we have about 13 kids coming to the house for a farewell brunch in about an hour. So the muffins are in the oven, and I'm going to try to do this in the next 20 minutes while they bake. channel welcome I'm so glad that you found me this is a channel all about reselling I like to take you along with me when I go thrifting I've been a full-time reseller for about a year and I was part-time for the year before that if you are interested in this kind of content I would love it so much if you subscribe to my channel and also if you have a second check me out over at Instagram at Lori's Boston Found. I'm approaching 5,000 followers over there and I have plans to do a really great giveaway. And if you're subscribed here and you follow me over there, you are eligible for the giveaway. That's gonna be announced probably this time next week. So probably next Sunday, if not a little bit sooner. So let's get into the haul. So I went to two different yard sales, um, but they were on the same street. So it was really easy for me to hit both of them. And that was really quick. My husband and I just decided to take a ride locally. The house is very quiet here in the morning with a few teenagers in the house. And so we wake up around eight, we grab coffee, and then we just kind of circulate the area. We have an app uh, that helps us find yard sales in the area. But I had driven by this one sign uh, earlier in the week. So I knew I wanted to go back. And then we hit a church thrift store that I always seem to miss. And I've only been there one at a time and it was really good. So I wanted to stop back in today. The sign said closed. We ran into a little local place and got a breakfast sandwich and we came out and then they were open. So they weren't scheduled to be open, but they were. So I hit that up and I found some great things. I'll start with the yard sales. Um, and I listed about half of these things. So if you check out my Poshmark closet, I'm at Lori Boston Found, no S, just Lori Boston Found. I have most of these things listed, except for a few things. So this is not listed, um, but I did find this band tee. I happen to be a huge fan of Journey. When I see all the band tees that are out there, like Pink Floyd and Def Leppard, I like Def Leppard too, but Journey was my fave. So this is Journey Frontiers. Uh, I don't believe that this is, I don't think it's single stitch or anything. Is it? No, it's not single stitch, but it's an older t-shirt. I'll probably list this between $25 and $30 in my Poshmark closet. That was $2. Oh, in total, I spent $47 on everything. Come on in, Lou. I spent $47 and I believe I got 19 items, so my cost of goods was under $3 per item, which was great. Uh, so what else did I get at that sale? Everything was $2 at this particular yard sale, and then the one next door to this house I got two items and I spent $7. So one of the things I got at the other house were these dance goes. They do have a little bit of creasing in them and a little bit of white um, like scuffing, but I'm gonna try to get that off with my magic eraser, but she only charged me $2 for these. So even with the flaws, what I usually look for on dance goes is this section right here. When this gets worn and the leather is either cracked or exposed, that's when I'll usually pass on dance goes. But if they just have a little bit of scuffing, but the structure of the shoe is in really good shape, I will definitely pick these up. These are a consistent seller for me, and these are a size 39. So I paid $2 for those. I'll see how well I can clean them up, but I'll probably list them somewhere between $35 and $45. Also at the same house where I got the dance goes, I picked up this Columbia jacket. I don't always pick up Columbia, but usually if it's a really substantial piece, like I, I pass on the windbreakers and things like that, but this is like a two in one or three in one jacket where things zip out. I liked the color on this. It was in really good condition. This is a Columbia interchange jacket and it's a women's size medium. I just got it out of the wash and it cleaned up really nice. There was a little bit of like, you know how winter coats get, um, but this cleaned up really nice. So I'm probably gonna list this somewhere between 30 and $50. And this is definitely something I would cross post to eBay. I think Columbia probably does better on eBay than it does on Poshmark. So she charged me $5 for this. I always like to share my fails with you. So this yard sale where I found these items, the Journey t-shirt and this sweater and a couple other things. It was also a yard sale that I went to last year and I picked up a mink coat that was kind of controversial over here on YouTube, 
but that mink coat I think sold for $125 and I paid 10 at the same yard sale last year. So I was happy to go back and support these people. I grabbed this in a hurry. This was a Cynthia Rowan, uh, Cynthia Rowley, 100% extra fine merino wool in an extra large and it was just like an open cardigan. And I thought for $2, merino wool even though cynthia rowley is a brand that i find at tj maxx i'm not sure if it's sold anywhere else but i thought it was a good pickup and i thought if i didn't sell it i would keep it myself but i got it home and there was a hole here and there were holes here as well you can see the holes here this thing is loaded with holes totally a rookie error to not take some time and look I think sometimes when you're at a yard sale and the homeowners are there, I want to support the people having the yard sale. Um, and they were kind of watching me go through the boxes. So I don't know, I made a quick decision. But one of the things that I did get there already sold. I listed it yesterday. It's not a big brand and it sold in like 12 hours. I was really happy. So I saw this um, Southwestern sweater and the brand is, if it were me, again, Usually something I see at TJ Maxx. Maybe this is Urban Outfitters, but I don't think so. Comment below if it is. I listed this for $32. It got a few likes right away. And then I sent out an offer for 20% off, which if you list something at $32, which I often do, $25 is 20% off. And then you give discounted shipping. So it keeps it at that $30 mark. So I sent out offers for $25 with discounted shipping and this sold. Isn't this so cute? So this is something that I picked up, but based on style. So even though this wasn't a big brand, I did pick this up for style and it paid off. So that was great. So that sold pretty quickly, $47. And I already sold one item for 20. That sort of thing makes me happy. I always love when I make my money back quickly on a haul. The other thing that I got was just a really nice chenille, light pink, like ballet pink, fuzzy, fuzzy, robe um, that needs to go in the wash because since I got it home, my dog Lucky has claimed it and he's currently laying on it right now. But I think the brand was Richie something, just really soft, you know the type. For, so for $2, I thought this is a really nice comfy robe. And if I don't wanna list it myself because I'm not a big fan of listing tall, like maxi, long robe sort of things. I might just bring it to my local consignment store and sell it there. And I do keep an eye out for consignment store brands when I'm shopping. Uh, I use my con local consignment store more than I use a thread up recently. Uh, so I always keep that in the back of my mind. So then I was so happy that the church thrift store was open, church thrift store. So let's go over to there. The way that this store was run on this particular day was that everything was buy one, get one free for clothing and accessories. Well, just for clothing and belts, shoes and bags were just as priced and all t-shirts were one dollar but they were not buy one get one free so it's a little complicated i ended up spending 32 dollars there and 15 dollars at the yard sale my favorite find of the day would definitely be these all birds i love finding all birds and the thing that's great about all birds is they are super unassuming so if somebody were to look at these to the, to the untrained eye they look like they are unbranded like maybe nothing special the all birds logo is over here on the back and then they also have the little birdie on here so if you look closely at that um, you can always tell and you also see the all birds in here these are the wool runners and they retail for 95 dollars these were a woman size 10 i went on the website they don't have this current color combo they have like a charcoal gray but then this part is white right now sorry there's a there's a lot of movement in my house getting ready for Ange to go. I can't believe I'm filming a video right now. Yeah, so I was super happy to find these. These were $5. So there was a pair of Adidas. I had my arms loaded with stuff and then I brought a bunch of stuff to the register and the sweet woman said to me, you realize that shoes are not part of the buy one, get one free. And I went, oh, I didn't realize that. So I kind of reassessed and I put a few things back, but of course I kept these. These were marked $5. Those should be a quick sell. Um, and then the other pair of shoes that I got, I really loved these and these were like brand new. Those were size 10, by the way, as are these. So I wonder if the same woman donated these, but these are Tom's and Tom's can be kind of hit or miss, but I happen to like the brand. I've really slowed down on the canvas slides, picking those up unless I'm at the bins and unless they're like brand new. I don't even know if those are really worth a $5 pickup unless they're a really cool pattern. So yeah, I'm, I've slowed down on those, but I thought these were great. I think these are a great transition shoe into fall as well. 
Even though they're sandals and they're open toe, which makes you think more of summer, they are suede and they are black and tan. So this would be really cute with like a pair of like raw edge jeans and a sweater going into fall. So I think these would be really good straight through October. These are a size 10. And again, they are like brand new. So those are listed. I think I have those listed for $50. The comps are pretty decent on these shoes. If there's anything from this haul that you are interested in, just email me at lauriesbostonfound at gmail.com if the item isn't listed. So like the Journey t-shirt isn't listed, the Columbia jacket isn't listed, but most of this stuff is. I just got stuff out of the wash, which is why they aren't listed. This is one of the things that just came out of the wash. This was unbranded and I picked this up uh, where did I get this? I think this was the thrift store. I am in love with this. It's just a robe. It's like a light. It felt, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> um, when, when it was at the store and I did like the sniff test, it felt, it smelled like very vintage. It felt mildewy. Um, there is not a single tag on this, but it didn't matter. I will sell this. I love this so much. It also comes with a belt. I would say this is probably a size small small, medium, um, but it is absolutely beautiful. It crosses in the front. Here's the belt. I have to press the belt because it came out all like crinkled up from the dryer. Absolutely beautiful. I would say this is like a cotton poly blend if I had to guess, but the floral pattern on this, I just was dying over it. And it's actually like a midnight blue. It's not black. It's really, really dark blue. So I'm probably going to list this around $40. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I was so excited for that. Um, also, if you've been following me on Instagram, or I think I even featured a dress here in a recent haul, I have been trying to list um, some of the fall trends and use some of the keywords for the fall. And there is like a Instagram aesthetic called cottage core. And it's basically like a lifestyle image of living on a farm, like picture Laura Ingalls, little house on the prairie, just like a simple life, picnic baskets, farm animals, uh, little floral feminine prints. Uh, and it's pretty trendy right now. So I listed a new with tag April Cornell dress and it was very pretty. I can pop it up right here. Listed it for $80. I got a $50 offer. I countered with $65 and it sold for $65 in one day. Listed it at about eight, nine o'clock at night. It sold the next morning at like 10 in the morning. So very fast flip. So when I saw this April Cornell dress, I picked it up. This was the most expensive thing that I bought. It was $9 at the thrift store. So, but it was buy one, get one free. This is also probably a vintage tag and I'm sure it's a vintage tag. Um, it says April Cornell for Cornell trading. So this must be some sort of like a little division, but it's this nice green maxi. It's got a higher uh, collar with some really pretty embroidery on there. So I will definitely use the word cottage core in my description. This has not yet been listed. This is vintage. I, and April Cornell has a pretty good following as well. So this has two things going for it. So I will probably list that between 35 and $50. Just got to look at the comps on vintage stuff. So while we are talking about cottage core, I'm going to share with you this dress, which I love this dress. And this hit um, a couple great boxes for me too. I love to check off the boxes of what works for me when I'm buying. So this is definitely cottage core vibes. So sweet, so pretty. It's belted here, like a little like flare here. This beautiful button detail in the front. It is also a square neck, which is also popular right now. And it's new with tag. So I was thrilled when I saw this. They had this marked $6. So I got the April Cornell dress for nine. I got this for free. It's Lauren Conrad, which is a Kohl's brand, which I always love her style, but it doesn't always sell great. But because this was so on trend right now, I had to get it. So pretty. I have this listed for $50. That might be aiming a little high, I understand. But if I were to get an offer for $35, I'll be sending offers out right away. I always list with um, room for offers. As soon as someone likes this dress, I will probably send an offer out for $40 with discounted shipping right off the bat. And then we'll see how it goes from there. But it also has really pretty uh, pleating. And I love the neutral colors of this dress. This is like an A plus dress to me. I was so excited about that. 
Okay, also at the store, and this I picked up because I had one free item to get. You know, I had an odd number of clothing. So she's like, well, pick out one more thing. And I just thought this was super pretty. This is just cold water creep. It has like the little pin tuck pleating in the front and A lines. It's like a mossy greenish gray, like army green. I don't love my arms. So anytime I can find a short sleeve that kind of covers like the chubby part of my arm, I'm kind of happy with that. I don't wear a lot of short sleeves or tank tops, but this was really, really pretty. So I'll probably list that for about $25. It may already be listed, um, but yeah. And again, I always take offers. This I have not listed yet. But at the thrift store, all of their belts were a dollar. So I have a lot of inventory, right? I think we've covered this before on my channel. So I don't like to buy a ton of bulky stuff unless it's really worth taking up real estate in my inventory. So belts are one of those things. If they're the right price, I have a great little ring holder that I got on Amazon for like $10. If you want to check, I have my Amazon store linked below, but it's great. It actually hangs on my clothing rack. And I have, oh gosh, probably 40 belts between two of these little ring hooks. So belts don't take up much space. And how cool is this belt? So this is Chico's. I'll probably list this for about $25. So here's the only problem with this. It says Chico's large, but when I got home and looked at it, I am guessing that somebody took this in. Someone made this small. So see how they cut that and they stitched so I don't know if I was paying closer attention if I would have picked this up. I would put this more at like a small medium. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just note the length on this and it will probably affect the selling price a little bit, but this is such a cute belt. Really nice, heavy duty hardware, $1. I was happy about that. This belt I also picked up. This is a men's Levi's belt, new with tag. It has this, you know, these reversible, I love these things, especially for my boys, depending on the shoes they're wearing. It just clicks so you can wear it on the black side or the brown side. I loved that it was Levi's. So this is not perfect though, which I didn't notice till I got home. Can't always assume when it's new with tag that it's perfect, but I saw this, I grabbed it for a dollar. And then when I got home, it kind of has some of this bubbling on both sides. So it is luckily at the back of the belt. This is a size men's 40. It's at the back, so I don't think it's a huge thing. I did note it and I did price it accordingly. So I picked up this belt and I'm frustrated because I can't see, the, there's no, it looks like the brand was cut off, which is kind of a bummer. It's this beautiful leopard, like it's a very subtle calf hair, but I believe that it is calf hair, like brand new. And on the back here, it's a really soft leather. It's a size large, um, but I think right here was the brand tag that was cut off, so I can't tell what the brand is, but I still think this will sell based on the fact that it's leather and um, in really excellent condition. So I'm excited to get that listed, probably list that for about $20. This was a fail, my second fail of the day. I thought this was really cute. Um, the 90s are coming back. And it's one of the decades that is very much celebrated in fashion right now, as well as the 80s and the early 2000s. They're all kind of represented right now. But this is like a super Gwen Stefani 90s plaid punk little belt that I thought was really cute. I'm still going to try to sell this, but look at the detail. I thought it was really well done. Um, and it did have this tag that said $38 on it. I'm not sure what store this is from. I, I should probably see if there's an RN and I can run it, but it's just man-made material um, here, made in China. But upon closer review, it's split right here. So I could definitely glue that, but I mean, yuck. I could definitely glue it and maybe sell it for like 15 or $18 because I think just based on style, that's cool. It's really hard to resist $1 items when you're out shopping. So you have to be a little bit careful. Okay, just a few more items from the thrift store and then we are gonna call this a day. I don't know that this was a fail. I would love to sell these direct to people. Um, I was really excited because I saw these and I'm sure anybody who knows this brand knows right off the bat that these are Lululemon. Again, Sometimes Lululemon can lend itself to tricking shop owners because they're very subtle sometimes, but I just knew this fabric. I know these shorts, um, but they are. So if you look really closely at the hem, there's a little bit of wear, but that's not what my issue was. When I went to photograph these, I looked on the back and it looked as if this ribbon had lifted 
and somebody glued, you can hear it, somebody glued the ribbon down to the seam here, um, which I was so bummed about. Is that, it's not a hole, yeah. So if you look at it just quickly like this, it doesn't seem like an issue, but you can see a little bit where it's puckering over here. So I definitely have to note that in my listing and to just say, you know, this was glued by hand. Uh, it's really gonna kill the value. So when I first grabbed these, I'm like, oh, that's a quick $30 easily. Um, but now these are a size four. Now I'm not so sure. If anybody wants these, I can ship them direct to you for like, $18, $20, depending on where you live, because um, they'd be relatively light to ship, but they are a size four. I'm probably gonna list them for, I don't know, $28 and disclose the flaws and see how it goes. This I picked up and this was actually a surprise to me. I was happy about this. Um, it's Vineyard Vines, which I don't get like too excited when I see Vineyard Vines, but it was a really pretty print, like almost like a little zebra vibe um, tunic. And then this, retailed for $128 and I believe, I think this might be current. I, I can't really remember, maybe not, but um, there's only one other listing and I think it's listed at like $90 or something super expensive. So I was happy to be able to get this and I think I listed this for 50. She had this marked $4, again, buy one, get one free. So everything ended up costing a little under $3 at the end of the day. But I was really happy with this little tunic. And I think it's cute because you can wear it as a beach cover-up or you can just wear it, you know, maybe with a cami underneath because, underneath because it's really lightweight, but wear it with like a pair of white jeans or just regular skinny jeans or whatever. Some people can wear it on its own, but it is a little sheer to wear on its own. Um, but I was happy for that. And the last thing that I got, this is kind of comical. Um, I, they had a huge table with t-shirts and I didn't see many that I liked, but I of course loved this New England t-shirt. So this looks as if it's like a New England Patriots t-shirt just based on the colors, but um, it didn't say Patriots or anything. And it's very rare to see a t-shirt like this that's not the Patriots, but the company, this is why I love thrifting sometimes. I looked up this company, it's called the Pop Top. Uh, from Brew City. I think this company is like uh, somewhere in the Midwest or maybe they were Michigan. I can't remember, but so it's a t-shirt and they do all different parts of the country. They do different colleges, but this is the fun thing. There's a bottle opener on this t-shirt. How much fun is this? So it's patent pending if you flip it over and you can open a bottle with this. Um, I probably should have sent this to college with Anthony. Um, it is an extra large. It is an extra large, and I just think this is such a fun novelty t-shirt, and it's actually quite nice. So I just thought it was fun to have something unique like this in my closet. So when you see it, it just has like little pop top there, um, but how much fun that your t-shirt doubles as a bottle opener. Who doesn't need one of those? All right, friends, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed my haul. I love hitting yard sales and I'm so happy that they're finally opening up. I'm really encouraged for fall. I'm hoping that we'll see a lot more rummage sales and yard sales and things like that where people can socially distance and shop wearing their mask and being safe and then everybody wins. So we'll see. Thank you so much guys for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Up, hit that subscribe button. I release a couple videos a week. I am going to Pennsylvania tomorrow. I'm heading out first thing at probably eight in the morning. So I will not have a Wednesday video, but um, I am planning on doing a video Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of next week. So stay tuned. In the meantime, watch some of the videos that I suggest after this video ends. You can watch a playlist from like what sold videos or savers videos or Goodwill outlet videos. I have a lot of stuff on my channel. If you're new here, you can catch up. I appreciate each and every one of you and I love you guys until next time. Bye.